Hey y'all, it's Alpen Glow Up. Welcome to Autocraft Season 3, Episode 2. I'm so glad you guys are here with me today, and I cannot wait for today's project. We are going to be expanding our cliffs from the first episode, and we're going to be taking them all the way along the north side of the starter town. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, haven't seen my first episode, be sure to click my name and head to my channel and give that first video a view. That way you'll be all caught up to speed. For today's episode, we will be checking our material list because I promise there is so much more that is going into this project and we'll be checking out everything that's happened so far in our starter town. This is my view. I've got Rusty over here and he's been pathing and detailing his area. Calvin's added a second tree. Death has built a starter base just all of a sudden and it's looking great. LazyCon as well. I love this modern style. You guys know, should probably know I'm a sucker for modern. Oh, there's a little bee. Oh, he's so cute. Mindstorm has a house that's beautifully placed over the cliffside. That is really cool, y'all. Check out Mindstorm's video on that because oh, the time lapse is awesome too. Anki and Mechanic are more on the, the terraforming sides of things, but it's looking really good. They've almost like got like a shared area here. I don't know who's got what, but yeah, really loving that. And then Old Metered Miner is secluded over here in the Mega Taiga. So let me show you guys. I'd like to land right here and show the little cozy little tree house he's got going on. Everybody's got these really good looking builds. Um, you know, the view, the lines of sight are really awesome. And then we have me. Let's be real, this isn't looking too great. So I'm gonna tackle the back side of this build, starting with some resource collection. I will catch you guys on the other side. And so another resource grind on the Autocraft server begins, you guys. And I'm starting to realize we are outgrowing our starter starter base. We are going to replace this, like literally this entire area with my custom cliffs. I've started out here, you know, I've literally got chest like in front of the door. Got a few of the materials here, but nowhere near done. But thankfully, thankfully, a lot of our server members have been super kind. Um, I believe Calvin's gonna drop by in a minute and we are going to talk about some certain materials in here already that I'm gonna need a lot more of. And Rusty's been amazing and he's dropped by with some shulker boxes. So Rusty, thank you for bringing these back to me. I appreciate them and the frog lights are super cool as well. Y'all, before I get too much out in the world grabbing resources again, let's see what Calvin has to offer. I summoned you here, you, you see my skin? Yes, what happened? You you look dirty. I've been collecting bad crazy. <gasps> oh. So I couldn't help but notice. By the way, gorgeous bitch, you got going on here. You've been using a lot of mud. Now I see. I thought you just used a little bit, but now I see no, that. packed mud and the bricks. It was it, it was a grind. It was a bit of a grind. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I got an offer for you. <gasps> I'm about to open a job. Whoa, even the muddy mangrove. Oh my God, I love them. All right, you can take as much as you want to help you build. What's the catch? I think I just want to convince people that this is the best block in the game. It is, it is. It is. I've already been on that side. It's good to have an, an ally. I mean, I, I know you are convinced already. I mean, you, I, I thought you just <laughs> used a little bit, but now that I see it up close, it's like <laughs> all mad. So yeah, I am i don't think I have to do this now, but okay, you can have that and use it. I mean, you were going to terraform like everything, right? Yes. So I'm doing this side and then I'm going all the way out. I'm going all the way over here. 
to death's plot with the same blocks. So yes, I'm gonna need so much. This is such a good start. Thank you. Okay, take it. That's all for you. And I have some glowstone as well because you are Ooh, open yes. glow up. Help and glow so, up. Oh, yeah. that's genius. <laughs> <laughs> I encommend you the task of convincing the dragon. I will talk to Mindstorm soon about this. Oh, okay. Yes. We'll get all the people in on it. Okay, it's been a pleasure doing business, I guess. Yes, it more was... business to come when you open your shop. I can't wait. I will never turn down free samples, even if these mud samples from Calvin include some stipulations and shenanigans. We'll get around to those later in the episode. I realize I haven't even shown you guys the shopping district from my perspective. So we'll head over there, check out Calvin's shop and a few others. But I think we're safe to go ahead and put these mud blocks in our color coordinated chokers. I've kind of started out here. Packed mud is going in the pink because that's the closest color I could get. And then all the leaves and roots and whatnot are going here in the green. There's a few others that have started to fill up, but we're not close to done yet. We're actually next going to take these yellow choker boxes because there's like three of them here, all full of sand. And we are gonna put these in a very special spot. We're putting the sand under here. Why, you may ask? Because we have a few, uh, a few nightmares to handle. One of them being the stairs that are clearly stair blocks from down here. The other being the red mushroom. That's not supposed to look like that. So we're gonna cover that up and make it look like an actual beach and like it was terraformed like this the whole time. So I got a little carried away. I was working, I had wrapped up the sand, and then I decided to tear down all of the trees and get the area prepped, as well as moving my old storage to an area a little bit further back. So this is the finished result for now, and this allows us to move on to the next step. Where does this put us with the material list? Where can I go from here? Terracotta and sand. I made a special trip for those, so those are looking good, but it's looking like wood and maybe a trip to the nether. Mushroom stem, I have an idea for that because I know that's not being sold. Lanterns are craftable. Dripstone, I can go back to where I got that last episode, and oh, we need to talk about this. Two things can be true at the same time. One, ancient debris looks great for my testing can't wait to show y'all. Two, I have no clue how to collect it and come out alive. But good news is, I think there's a solution to this problem. I know somebody who knows what he's doing. I know somebody who got like full netherite gear in the first four minutes of his first episode. And I'm backing up in suspense here and you guys might know who I'm talking about. Is he actually right underneath there? He is. I'm going to go talk to Death. I'm going to see if I can explain what's going on here and if he can take me ancient debris mining. Are we ready? Uh, I am, are you? <laughs> um, am I? It would be fine, just um, avoid lab. Oh, oh. <laughs> <gasps> I didn't even look, I just, oh. Why do I feel like one of us is going to die, even though you've done this before and you've been fine? And I have two totems on me. Look, no never luck. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if one of us were to die. That arrow might come back down, so be careful, be careful. Oh, be <laughs> mad. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hold on, let me just deal with that. Ow. <laughs> I can't keep doing that, I know. I thought you didn't want me to die. <laughs> <laughs> I would have died there. <laughs> <laughs> but you can fly, I can't. 
Okay, right, I think we should be good to dig down. All right. Uh, so this is your first time, right? Using this method, yes. Right, okay. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to find a chunk boulder. We should be coming up one soon. Okay, there we go. And what I normally do here is I normally have a rule where I keep the chunk boulder on either my left or my right. Just so that when you're navigating around the tunnels it's easier. Okay. I think we should keep it, we'll try and keep it on our left. So I'll go along this side and if you were to go along that side. Okay. It's on my left. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I know I'm headed towards a big lava pool just from what was above us, but is the idea that we've not even seen the lava pools? I don't know how this works. Oh, you will see them, trust me. Oh, I see them. <laughs> <laughs> lava and there's ancient debris. Mm. Oh, it's a three piece. Well then, yes. my grand total so far is the one you gave me yesterday. So, oh no, <laughs> I'm starting to believe that this ancient debris isn't even real. It's just a, it's just a conspiracy theory that you're telling me to get me to do dangerous things. No, I'd never do that. <laughs> I'm going to mine towards you and then go past the lava pool and then back to where I need to be. That's actually kind of smart. Ooh, okay, so I was wrong. The ancient debris is not a conspiracy theory. Um, how much debris do you have now? Twelve. I have three. You know what that means? Does that mean we're done? Oh my god, yeah. Where are you at? Uh, I'm in my storage room right now. Just putting away some of these uh, goodies. I feel like I won here. I basically brought you on a dangerous mission to get debris for my build. So. <laughs> oh my. Uh... Take anything you need from here because you helped me out. All right, that works for me. All right, wow. Well, mission complete. Yeah, right. No one died. Ooh. Nobody died except for all the gas and piglins we killed. Yeah, and the, the few times I nearly ended up in a lava pool. But other than that, it's been great. That could not have gone better. Not only did we get the most difficult resource that I've ever had to get for a build, but I had a great time and something that was originally kind of scary and intimidating to me and something that I didn't know how to do in this game was turned into something really fun where I was able to laugh the entire time. I really enjoyed it. This means that we can now come over here to the shopping district, which yes, it's my Zulam at the moment, so don't judge it too harshly. We can check out all the shops, we can show you guys exactly what I'll be purchasing, and we can take a look at the overhaul project and competition that we have going on right now on this server. So let's pull out some replay mod and take a little tour of the shopping area. This is Rusty's Frog Light Shop. This is amazing. Look at the big froggy. And he has a rocket shop as well. Really unique design. And a tree shop. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is where I'm going to stock up on the mangrove and all the oak for the cliffs. I think that should get us settled there. I'm going to be a little quiet here because this is Lizzie Kun's sculpt shop. I don't know how this works. I'm going to head up here. Maybe there's actual, yes, there's actual stock. Ooh, okay. I would never go collect these blocks myself. So it's really nice that we have a shop, you know? This is Calvin's mud break shop brownies. And this is where I'm getting all my packed mud for part of our deal. And of course, it wouldn't be the shopping district if I didn't get all the free mushrooms here. I mean, mushroom stems are so expensive. So we're grabbing these here, which actually helps out with the shopping district transformation project, which we'll take a look at over here. So the entire Autocraft server is voting on four different designs. This one here is Calvin's. He's always so good at the detail. I love the candles and those custom trees, but the other three are up over here. Rustic's design. Ooh. I am immediately drawn to the path. Love the color. Love the overall brightness. And I think we could build a lot of shops in different designs within the shopping district. Old Miner Miner also has a brighter vibe to it. I like these arches that you can walk underneath. Really, really neat. 
And then Lazy Con went with a 119 sculpt design with this end path in the middle. It looks like he's even got lights and redstone workings. I like the details and I like those lamp posts with the, the shriekers. I'm learning you guys, I'm learning. Those are called shriekers. And some custom mushrooms kind of like Rusty's. I don't know who I'm gonna pick. I'm probably gonna make my actual votes off camera, but I'm gonna have a really tough time deciding. So does this mean that we have everything? I'm trying to think if there's literally anything else I've forgotten. I think there's only one way to find out. I think this deserves another look at the material list. And as you can see, it's all complete. We have everything ready to go. And I actually have a question for you guys. Do you use Lightmatica with your builds? Does it help you organize? Or do you guys like to build freehand? Let me know in the comments section. If you guys wanna leave me a like on today's video while you're down there, that would be much appreciated. Also, subscribe if you're not already. I create regular content on Autocraft SMP. I also do build tutorials for builds just like this one. Speaking of which, it's time to get started. Y'all are probably hearing the music, so I'm gonna sit back and watch some of The Bachelorette and get this build going, and you guys are gonna have time lapse to watch. So enjoy, and I'll see you once it's all done. Welcome back y'all. I have one more finishing touch here and I'm going to add a waterfall in this area here. This might be my favorite spot and I actually haven't taken a first person look with like the sunset and the shaders and everything. So let's pop down there together. There's kind of a funny story to this area and it has to do with the new blocks I added in this episode. The hanging roots, the white terracotta, and the ancient debris. They all share this off-white pinkish color, and I was actually inspired to add that to the palette after I spent so long staring at an incomplete version of the rest of the clips, where I was using mushroom stems. You might have seen it in the time lapse. I add mushroom stems with their white outside texture. I add more mushroom stems on top of those to expose the inside texture, and I'm left with this sandy look to it, which I ultimately think is best. However, those colors are here to stay, and I think that actually makes this area feel really complete. I think I've put my finger on how I feel right now. I feel small. Maybe not back here, but if I, for instance, come over here and go into F5 mode, I feel so small compared to the glyphs, and that's never happened with one of my builds before. It's kind of weird, but in a strange way, it's giving me a lot of motivation to do, you know, a starter base, work within this scale and these limits, and some custom trees, and really anything else that a tropical village might need. 
So many ideas are flowing, but I'm going to let them do their magic in their own time. For now, I'm thinking of some sort of mindless task I could put myself to. Maybe some shulker sorting is on the horizon. So I'm down to just a few shulker boxes here. And because of the nature of some of these materials, I'm really not knowing what to do with it. I feel bad if I put it in some storage system, you know, that I'm wanting to design soon. And, you know, I just let it sit there instead of actually building with it. Because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm probably not gonna be using a lot of these blocks again. The cliffs themselves are pretty much complete. That's making me think, like, do I donate it? Do I bribe somebody with it? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Maybe these would be good. Hmm. I'm not going to call it a bribe. I'm going to call it an offer. And what did Calvin call him? The dragon? Oh, that looks great. While I could leave this at Rusty's mailbox, something tells me this needs more explanation. Rusty, are you there? No. Rusty. Nothing, nothing. Maybe he's down here. Rusty, are you there? Hello? Hi. Hi. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm 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 quite well hidden at the moment. Yeah, for sure. I am here. And I have an offer that you can't refuse. I refuse. Okay. Maybe we could meet in like a deep dark alley maybe then you'd find it more enticing come on you can get xp from my spider farm <laughs> i i feel like i'm getting murdered oh sorry let me put the the weapon away this offer that you cannot refuse mm -hmm. i'm inviting you to a society a society uh, of only the muddiest and most amazing minecrafters as part of this society if you choose to accept you'll receive a gift. Uh-huh. That's the only information I can give. Do you accept? Well, you got my back against the wall here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> sure, I'll accept, but why do you need to have me in the deep dark alley for this? I mean, at least you're on the deep dark. Oh, fair enough. There's just one more step if we'd like to, you know, change scenery again. And I actually built a little mud temple. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, sure. Yes. It's quite muddy in here. Slightly humid. We must sacrifice an item of value and put it on the board. So far, it's Calvin and I, and I haven't met with Calvin yet. So it's just going to be you and I putting stuff on the board right now. So does this mean that the the Mutt Society has a maximum of nine members? Is that, that how this works? Well, I mean, how big is our whitelist? Okay, well, so <gasps> this is not just Dragon Egg. This is actually the original Dragon Egg, like the, the fountain Dragon Egg. So... I'm, I'm gonna say that's that's valuable to a dragon like me. What? I am mind blown. Right. So is is this it? I am now a I'm now a, a muddy person. Yes. There's one other thing actually, and it's to buy oh. from Calvin's shop. Oh come on. <laughs> and use mud in your builds, because we've seen you're lacking. I haven't really built with mud. No. I'm, I'm gonna be borrowing your bed for a second. All right, I think you're all initiated and good to go. Welcome to the society. Yeah, th thanks for spending my diamonds on mud indirectly, I suppose. What do you guys think of the mud temple? I save that as a surprise, not only for Rusty, I think that's Rusty actually back there, um, not only for him and anybody else that decides to join us in the mud society, TM, totally not pyramid scheme, but also for you guys. So hopefully you liked it as much as I did. I got finished designing those cliffs in my creative world and I just couldn't stop building. I couldn't even leave it there, y'all. I did one more build. This one's a little bit more functional. So uh, take your guesses if you didn't see the Twitch stream. And there we go. This is my storage room. This is something I also designed around the same, the same night as the mud temple. I was like, I'm really digging a storage room, but I couldn't figure out how to get in a house. So I came up with this. It's really lush and just as vibrant as everything else I built today. At least I think so. 
and it stores pretty much everything that I own. So that means that the storage system that I have out back there is actually empty. I did this on a stream. You, yes you, you should follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash alpenglowup, same name of course as here. That's where I do all my spoiler-ish autograph streams and that's where you can catch me building live when something doesn't get made into a time lapse. Well, of course, some of them get made into time lapses, just not these two builds over there. And that's because this episode is actually running really long, not only in length, I did not mean for it to be like 25 plus minutes long, never done that before, but also it's been like six weeks since my last episode and this really needs to get out to y'all. So I'm going to pack up shop here. Oh, is that a, that's a bundle. Oh gosh. Oh free anvils. At least it's not 20 diamonds. But yeah, I really wanted to get you guys a second episode, show you guys everything that's happened on the server so far. And there's one special way that I want to show you guys the progress that's been made today. Does this look familiar to anybody? What is it? Negative 1800, negative 1200. This is how it was in the beginning. So I'm facing south right now. This is where I would be Rusty, Unky and Mechanic, Calvin, we'd have the new portal here, Death, Lazy Con, and then Mindstorm there. This is so different. Am I allowed to feel nostalgic, even though it's only episode two? I'll leave that as a question for the comment section. If you guys are curious about any of the builds from her other members, please check out the description and subscribe to everybody on the Autocraft SMP. There's a ton of new content coming out from our starter town and other places on the SMP. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back very shortly with an episode three. If you guys liked what you built today, be sure to leave me a like and of course, consider subscribing to have all of my videos in your feed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.